and from all across the Sahel in that very center of the earth that we are not going to allow them I will say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night to some of you. If at all there is anything good about our day-to-day -day experience, not just for Biafrans, but other tormented ethnic nationalities in the damnable zoological republic. I must thank each and every one of you, every organization, every group, every family unit, every zone, every local government, every state, every country, every nation that participated so movingly in the funeral rites accorded my parents just a few days ago on the 14th of february of 2020 i thank each and every one of you and on behalf of the opukano family on behalf of ipob worldwide family i thank you all from the bottom of my heart and i pay a very special a very very special tribute to all those that ran the cordon of the army and the police, all those who defied the odds, all those who are hardcore, who we are in a Farukun, that you shall see heaven and you shall witness Biafra on the face of this very earth. For because of you, we do what we do. Because of you, I will sacrifice everything sacrificable. Because of you, I will work ceaselessly more than I have ever done before to ensure that Biafra is restored in our time. Because you are the salt of the earth. The hardest of the hardcore were in Afaruku. If you are not there, that means you are not one of us. You don't know what it means to be a Biafran. We have dedicated ourselves to the restoration of this kingdom of heaven. Biafra is the kingdom of heaven upon the face of the earth. That is why Britain is incandescent with rage anytime we talk about Biafra. They understand what you do not know. That is the gospel we propagate on this very platform. That is the truth that we preach. That we are the chosen children of light. Regardless of the fact that we find ourselves in the darkest recesses of Africa. I can assure you categorically that God cannot come down from heaven unless Biafra is restored. And that is what we are here to do. And we must do it. It is a divine mission. Once again to all of you who despite all the threats from Buratai and Damu of police and that Fulani boy boy called Okon you went into Omoaya, you went into Afaruku I hold you in very high regard and very high esteem that is who we are and as I told you I will never, ever, ever let you down. It is impossible. I cannot. The day I think of letting Biafra down, Chukokika Biama will strike me dead. Any day I think about it, I will commit suicide first. And you have not let me down either. All the way from when I was illegally arrested, this same family have been sacrificing. This same IPOB have been relentless in our pursuit for that which is right before man on earth and God in heaven. And that is Biafra and we are going to get it. Do not despair. Do not worry. Our enemies will try. They will do everything within their powers to try to deflect or divert our attention away from that which matters but we are resolute they know every blessed day that we are their problem and their headache and elohim has given us that very glory that very grace and we can never ever abandon it until Biafra is restored you can see what is happening in this way today 
the zoo is being eaten from within. It is eating itself from within. Get your pen and your paper. Tell those who are around you that the finest lecture on the face of the earth is about to take place. You must reason through everything I have to tell you tonight because within it lies life itself and hope. We are going to win because we have triumphed already in the realm of the spirit. Get your pen and your paper. What we are waiting Tell is those the physical who are manifestation of the kingdom the of God. And the finest lecture on the face of the earth is about to be the first. And it is coming. You there must reason through everything I have to tell you tonight. Because within it lies life itself and hope. We are going to win because we have triumphed already in the realm of the spirit. What we are waiting is the physical manifestation of the kingdom of earth on this, the kingdom of God on this very earth, which is Biafra. And it is coming. There is nothing Halemajri can do about it. There is nothing Satan can do. I tell them categorically. I want them to try everything within their powers to stop the coming of Biafra. If they succeed, then there is no God in heaven. This same God that we worship, this same God that my mom and my father worshiped and the ancients before them, that changeth not the same. Yesterday, today, and forevermore, we shall honor and we shall pray to this very evening in our very finest traditions. And I will pray in the language of heaven. Most of you may not understand it, but I can assure you that if you have a direct line to Angel Michael, Angel Gabriel, they will tell you this is the language they are speaking in front of the Most High Elohim this very minute. China can now go more when you want no to own you. Only I need you more no one in Jani see or to train here balling in the mental more for Janine. China can I can under a gare pondia. And you were wearing Jamon Canyon one in a gawain your fair and a cawena jagama when a bully yellow nassan and comma manic killing called your man your poor and sorry. Nay, no banana game must be an in them. Nanny when a killing. When I say, I know one you bonded into a lanket in the same bed and goes a big con, quick you look away, Channel Banyan, Gabiafra, where Birani, or so, 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 ni no more gang, work one, Induna Batagopan, Etoquanan, Echefupan, Opanan, and your bonded goes there, goes in a low one in there. Name one of Banyan, Nanny Ganya has to go to the Nansopron, a Germany, a bully yellow, and a gap with Sial and Yagi. Nehi na obona nege bonye kwe sirintu kwa siyobi. Obona nege kanyine efe. Chine ken na nke Abraham, chine ken na nke Aziki, chine ken na nke Jacobu, chine ken na nke Josephu, chine ken na. Ke Samuel, chine ken na nke Ronu, chine ken na nke Moshe. Onyo simuru hiya honu weti wao za abuwa. Ndi yuna wwe batane titi, yuwe memi laha. O tu ako ga hadiani na ndizu no ke na dega nyonyo na chine ke na bini igwe. Lihi ne dega abamu abamu. Ebrani ne bregi wiche tregi na ke bre dengosi. Unku ikure ni si ani. Lihi no kunson ke gibu ye na amen. O si gina no we pute na ye we ati azo azo. Biafra bonde gosi la gosi ne lowa. Ebo apola ne gari ye we bata. O bu kisi we tu ani ugo. Ye tu ani ugo na mo. Tu ani ugo na mato. O ngogi ye. I ye dem tu puri ma ani na ke bre dengosi. Di hina opo na anege bonye mazuli hiyan ine. Opo na anege bu chine kena. Anye wena si leni kisi wena tandi ura. Hache na opa nyo mwane ka hane meke teze pepe dengosi. Iwe uronu we chie hana laha wene ili anu mwa hana opo chinke tonyo mwam na chine kena bini igwe. Ni hini ipu here mwa wwe wwa mwa. No opo do zu galani. Ni ike jidi ya we tipie ya. Na samali agakaya mwa. Il y a des gens qui ont été mis en place. Ils 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 ont été mis en place. Mbuli ya hansoye lubu nkenane gim Ni hino mwongo nye blabu nye jatu nye re gim Omogi yuho blabu yi kereke Eja matu suma biya yuri gim Ni hino mwongo nye blabu nye jatu nye re gim Ibu chine kena Ndi wabla nefegi nefegi ni me mwongo nye ziyoku Anyi wena kwa hansoye na abalia Uwanine wene ganyin tunulu Anyi wene fegu fufu na ase 
Nani gaga no ba kundi keno wani ne we me honu ani we kupude zio kungeke zebo bede ngosi. Isa ni kana kwe zio kungoni ne ni mento ani. Aba na jinho geiri ne zio kwani ne kupude zio kungeli we tu raka egebu. Oya ni kuno kuchin keto na chine kena bini we. Ani we ne tobi we na jaga ma we na ngosi hanso gezi gezebo bede ngosi. Ni ya jeni ne kanya wa na chwa la na cholo a janko bara chwa janke duwe chwa kalo ni we na chine kena. Umugi we na. Is any nogan adegan and egg, except one in open canyon, one in a new mere. Nigga, mammy landy running in. Nay, I got on the two who ran your boy were here. I went as a mamma drink chin again and kept believing. Open and again went to Tonani when Sopranani with Jamma. Sit and every get my own egg, he said. He said, He said. Is your putting a kakana whatsoever? For those who may not understand, that is the language of heaven, the oldest language on this very earth. When I told people, when I explained to people that democracy started in Biafra, they never they never believed me. Allow me to clarify democracy that you have today started in Igbo land. Why did it start in Igbo land? Because we are the children of heaven. Nobody can date when our progenitors started inhabiting that part of the world. That was why when Britain came, Britain said they have no history. And when they were messing themselves about, messing themselves about in Onsoka, I said to my father, I am traveling to England to go and study. And he asked me, why do you want to go to England? I said, because that is the source of our problem. And for us to find a solution, we must go to the source of the problem and deal with it. Uh, that is how we came to this very place. And believe you me, we have found the solution and we are applying it this very day. Therefore, I say to all of you who are gathered around your listening device this very evening that Biafra, as I say to you always, is imminent. And there is nothing, I repeat, there is nothing our enemies can do about it. I want to start this program this very evening by playing a very short clip for you. What? white people are saying about you that you do not know we are all biafran every biafran clan is Igbo. allow me to repeat because Igbo means the ancient in the world the very oldest people on the face of the earth the very ancient people i need you to understand this very very clearly everything i preached on radio biafra in times gone by till now is the truth irrefutable everything i tell you must come i said must come to pass i want to play for you what a white man said those who are studying which ties into our program this very evening about the supreme court how does i will dissect it i will cut it open for the world i will shame the Sharia Supreme Court of the Zoo, that the world may understand how foolish they are, that the world may understand that the judiciary you have been subjugated to is a worse fraud than the APC government in Abuja. But because people do not want to shake off the cloak of ignorance and stupidity. And I also want to remind you that that is exactly the reason why black people were taken as slaves all over the world. The only race to be sold and marketed like commodity on an industrial scale since mankind came on the face of this very planet. Why was that? Any day people can sit down and ask themselves that very simple question. Why was it that only black Africans were marketed like commodity all over the world? That day they will understand where their problem starts from. And that day they will begin to prefer solutions to them. That is why we are here. You cannot listen to Radio Biafra and your life will be the same because love us or hate us, we speak the truth. The very simple truth. You can run around, you can deceive yourself, you can lie to yourself, but ultimately you come, as we have always done over the years, to the inescapable conclusion that these very people, these very radio station, these very very family this very ipob is always right 
You may not like how we do it, but we are always right. I want everybody to listen very, very carefully to what this man has to say. Because I am a black man from Africa. When I preach it, you don't understand. When I tell you we are learned, more learned than all the professors in the zoo put together. Some of you don't believe me, but tonight you will believe me. Because we are learned. I need to get back to in a library about New York. We know everything. That, that is why they are afraid of Biafra. Because I can assure you, I swear to God Almighty in heaven, you give us Biafra today, you come there in only 12 months. I am telling you, you will swear that is not Africa. And they know it. Our enemies understand it. Because they know we would put them to shame. Should Biafra come, every other race in the Southern Hemisphere will be in shame. That is what they are afraid of. I want you to listen very, very carefully. Listen very, very carefully. I'm going to amplify that uh, we believe that there's a possibility that the international community can be brought to bear. The UN, uh, from the Declaration of Human Rights, all the way through. This is a very, very serious matter. There's something that I didn't mention and I hesitate to mention because I am not Nigerian. Although I think uh, Dr. Lloyd has bestowed upon me the honorary title of Nigerian man. <laughs> and he was, we had a conversation. It wasn't heated, but he, he acted like he was going to revoke my Nigerian man credentials, <laughs> causing my 13 year old son who was in the car with me to be very distraught. I said, Dad, you have to stay a Nigerian man. Um, but talking about children, when I was a little boy, when I was seven years old, growing up in the middle of nowhere, Florida, in a swamp, closest town was 30 miles away. The first thing that happened in the world that brought to bear to me that maybe things weren't always right, maybe things weren't always good, was not the Vietnam War. Because I was in the South, it was correct and just, and we were the warriors. It was the Biafra War. And I remember very distinctly thinking this just isn't right this isn't right this is a great people it is a great nation there was a country and then later when i learned something most people don't know that there is a plausible argument that democracy began in Igbo land Igbo land bro gave the word democracy from a white man in south florida it was written by the Igbo people the very first democracy that involves self-governance, that works for everybody, not just the Greek wealthy, but everybody was in Igbo land. And the very first democracy that permitted women leaders was in Igbo land. The West... I want to stop there for those who are ignorant to understand this very, very clearly tonight. We gave the world everything. That was what the British saw when they attacked Arochupu, and after the war, we fought them. They said, you have no history because of what they saw. We gave the world democracy before the Greeks came. I was telling you this right from 2012. Some of you never believe because you are not educated enough to understand what we preach on this platform. Now that a white man is saying it, and I want it to be posted everywhere, please. China and make sure America gets hold of it to post it so that the world can hear what we've been saying. We are very special. That is why they hate us. That is why they hate our cousins in Israel, the Jews of Israel. That is why they hate Jews all over the world. Because we are blessed people from God. We gave the world democracy. People talk about women's rights, about women, women that cook in the kitchen. But you heard him say, out of all the research they have been doing, before the white man came into this world our mothers had their freedom and as i always speak to people on radio biafra when my mother is talking outside my father doesn't speak women are the people that actually run homes across biafra land once your mother ties two-piece wrapper with a blouse and a headscarf you are one of us you are a biafran now you have heard a white man say it. Perhaps you can now believe me. Perhaps you can now understand that indeed we are highly learned. After many years, to tell you how miraculous this God we worship, how miraculous this God is, to let you understand how marvelous God is, 
at every step of the way, everything I have said on Radio Biafra, somebody from somewhere will justify it. That is why Satan went into some people and turned their heads. They are now doing boy boy work for the ex harlot and sex trafficker Loretta Honochia working with Abakiari. Our people are blind. But here on Radio Biafra, your eyes will be opened by force. You must listen. You will hear. You will learn. And as a result, you will become wise. Is it not very clear now? The, which history book teaches you that? These are the people fighting the good cause. White people that saw the travesty of justice by the so-called Supreme Court. And they came out in their numbers in America to say enough is enough. And then they went back and did a bit of research on Biafran people, on Igbo people. He now discovered that they started practicing democracy before the white man was born. That these people, all these uh, women's rights, give women their rights, all that rubbish, that these guys, they had it in abundance. Women were in very powerful positions. The two encounters the British had, 1929 and 1947. Who made it happen? Is it not our mothers that made it happen? Is it our fathers? No, of course not. It's our women. And that was why I told you that any day our mothers come out in this very struggle, then it's over. And now they have come out. And I can assure you that Biafra is a lot more closer than you think. We must proceed. That is just um, a tester of what is to come. To let you understand that if you do not listen or hearken to what we preach on Radio Biafra, then your life is empty. Completely empty. You are useless. You are nothing. You can rant all you like. Pretend all you like, but ultimately everybody gravitates around that very issue that IPOB is pointing at, is pointing to. And what is that freedom for everybody? I said for everybody. Let everybody be free. We give you the oil and gas. Take it and do with it whatever you like. Let everybody be free. Then people can sit down and begin to coalesce if they wish to do so. But now, the only solution is freedom. Eventually, they will come to it. If they tell you in this lab that a one one will come and be talking about forming a security outfit in the East, will you believe it? When we floated BSS, if they tell you that the likes of Fulani slaves, these are the hardcore slaves of the Fulani you have in our midst. A flavor, number one, the champion of the flavor. If they tell you that they would come around to believing in BSS, will you believe it? Even our brothers, the Yorubas, if they tell you that they will turn around to believe in what we are doing, will you will you believe it? Of course not. But eventually, everybody is doing that. When I said Nigeria will be worse than Somalia, did you believe it? The answer is no. Today is worse than Somalia. So eventually, after all said and done, after all the huffing and puffing, eventually they come round to that starting position of IPOB. That the zoo must fall. What I tell you is not what we made up. It is not what we concocted. I am giving you the news as reported by Zoo newspapers. In case you're wondering where is Zoo? Zoo is Nigeria. It is a zoo because it was created by the British. It was not created by any African, not created through conquest or through any natural process of the emergence of a nation. Somebody came and said, you, 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 from today, your name is, is Nigeria. Their flag is green, white, green. And from that day, they started jumping up and down like monkeys, which they are. They say, I insult them, I'm not insulting you, but, but if you believe in Nigeria, you are one of the greatest idiots alive because it makes no sense to anybody. Sit down and think about it. Every day I preach this very gospel. I said, sit down and think about the logic. How many black people went to Europe to go and build nations? Zero. How many black people went to South America to build nations? Zero. It's only you. Because you suffer from an incurable sense of inferiority complex. You need a white man to validate your existence. You need a white man to create a country for you. You need a white man to organize you before you can be human beings. That makes you their property and their pet. 
That is why you are in a zoo called Nigeria because you cannot reason. No, if anybody who comes and says, oh, this is our country, I can categorically assure you that person is not educated enough. Not educated enough. Why are things happening in Nigeria the way it is happening today? Why is it happening? Why? Ask yourself why. People, oh, there is a terrorism in, in Bauji. They have killed somebody in Gombe. There are kidnappers along Zaria, Kaduna Road. Oh, we no longer pass through Abuja and Kaduna. Oh, God help us oh, in, in, in Jesus' name. Help us. Oh. You run to your local pastor. Maybe in Suleiman or maybe in Baka or all these um, APC preachers. And they say, oh, it's, it's by the grace of God you escaped those kidnappers on the road. It's by the grace of God those bandits didn't kill you. Meanwhile, what do you have in your pocket? You say, oh, oh after running, I only have about 2,000. Oh, bring it and sow seed here to thank God for saving your life. And you foolishly pay. Because you are black, you are African, and you are very, very stupid. Ask yourself this question. Why is nigeria bedeviled by all these problems why after one problem there is another have you ever sat down to ask yourself this question a country that oil and gas comes from the ground they export it and they import refined petrol they have moribund four refineries that is not working ask yourself this very question are you normal Look around you and say to yourself, all the every day I'm in Nigeria, every day I'm in Nigeria. Ask yourself, am I not making a mockery of myself? Only then will you be able to see the light as we have seen here. The world is listening. I only gave them short notice that I'm going to come on air because if I give a very long notice, they'll try and jam our system, they'll try and cut it and all the rest of it. I gave very short notice. First, to thank this very wonderful family of IPOB worldwide for what they have done, not just for me, but for my parents, and will continue to do until the end of time. Because I tell you, from their womb will come Biafra, as was foretold before I was born. One day I will tell you that very story, but those that know, they know. The magic of the Supreme Court of Nigeria said they had based their result on 388 polling units. This is what is in contention tomorrow. I'm doing this because that the world may understand and will hold the Supreme Court of the zoo called Nigeria to account. He said, these are black people with wigs on their head, horse hair from England. Their ancestors never used to give judgment like that in the past. Judgment was based on truth. Hence, as you to truth is life. These days, what do you have? Once you put that wig on your head, you can talk whatever rubbish that comes into your brain, which is what a whole Supreme Court did. Supreme Court. Let us look at their idiocy for the world to understand how useless Nigeria is. For the world to understand that when you have somebody called a Nigerian in front of you, and there is a monkey nearby or a baboon or chimpanzee. It is better for you to deal with a monkey or a baboon than to deal with a Nigerian. A Nigerian is the embodiment of stupidity. I want to prove it by virtue of a judgment that came out of their own Supreme Court. They claim they went to school. I'm a lawyer. I went to law school. I did this. I'm an engineer. All of them are useless. So very, very useless, I can assure you. Useless to the core. I want to prove it tonight. <laughs> Oh, funny enough, uh, or to the shame of the zoo, the whole world is listening. If not that this man listened to Radio Biafra, I'm sure many, 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 many years ago, he wouldn't have done his own research to come to the conclusion that indeed democracy started in Igbo land. And when I say Igbo land, I mean the whole of Biafra. Allow me to repeat because I can see this compartmentalization. Everybody's trying to say it's an Igbo, Igbo, Southeast. It's rubbish. I said this during my last broadcast, but they never learn. All these states they created, all these um, um, dichotomy, Igbo, you are a jo, a, a jo you are doing their own thing, Urobo, you let's do our own thing, is a very clever ploy devised by the caliphates to divide all of us. Because they know that united, we stand very strong. 
divided we fall and we have fallen since after the war and they have been feeding large on it till this very day that stupidity has come to an end with ipob what i witnessed during the burial of my parents have convinced me that our people are far more intelligent than we give them credit for do you know that bakasi, bakasi chips were in, were, were in my house a banker chips were in my house do you know that idoma chips were there a girl at the original blast were there do, are you aware of that every clan in biafra land was in my house but when all these noise makers are talking and writing their rubbish on on, on social media and your back papers, uh, people you think our people don't reason things through do you know that the goni chiefs came to my house that biafra is one nta would not show it but biafra is one Channels will not report it. They have seen that Biafra is one. It doesn't matter what they write. It doesn't matter the categorization in the newspapers. It doesn't matter the way they seek to analyze the news. It is a business. We know who we are. The child knows the mother. The mother knows the child. We know we belong to Biafra first and foremost. All this division. Uh, 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 they want to take a uh, 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 But when Fulani was uh, raping and taking over house land, you never read that in school, did you? Let's go back to the stupid, useless Nigeria. They say insult him. He's a, he's on count. He is not civilized. Because you're a fool. If you're an idiot, I speak to you like an idiot. That's the only way you can understand. I'm not here to try to massage fools who cannot reason very well. That is the problem with Africa. There is no self-criticism. If there's somebody, oh no, you is this is that no. I criticize you with facts and figures. I am dismantling the Supreme Court of Nigeria tonight, live on air, with facts and with figures. Not in window and things that are just conjured up from their own mouth. I condemn you with what comes out of your mouth. Not what I made up in my brain due to envy and jealousy. I'm sure some of them would like to be non the kind, but they cannot be candid. Well, we are born for this very mission. There is no other thing. My parents have done their job. They have got, what else are they going to add? Biafra have gained traction to the point whereby what else are they going to do? Is it to keep cooking for IPOB when they come to my house? Their job is done. They have finished the assignment and they are gone. That Biafra may come. Let us look into the magic numbers. If you ask Oshomole, Oshomole, whatever his name is, he will tell you it's 388 polling booths. I want the world to listen very carefully to how useless an average Nigerian is. How hopeless they are. I, I know, of course, if you go to Abuja, they, all of them are they listening to Radio Biafra. Everybody is listening, of course. They know that this is the gospel of truth. I will tell you the truth. They say that the votes allocated to PDP. This is the analysis by independent bodies. How can Supreme Court allocate votes to, uh, to APC? Hope who's on them? That is actually higher than INEC certified permanent voter cards collected. Oh my goodness. I don't know, maybe this English is very bad. That is why I want Biafra so people can make laws and talk in their, in their native language. They said that, let me break it down in layman's terms. They said that four people registered to vote. And four people went to vote. And four people voted. Their votes were counted. And their votes was obviously, you know, the results made available to the whole world to see. And they went to court, Supreme Court for that matter, where you have learned Lord, High Lord with their wig, all this Lord and Lord, that or that, my Lord, my Lord, as the court pleases. They went to court. Do you know what the court said? The court said, um, I think uh, nine people voted though. And we are telling them no, it's not nine. These are the records. If only four people voted. Only four. They said no, it's nine. In our view, it is nine. How can you be in Abuja, in Ashokoro, going to, to court to, to collect money and deliver fake judgment? How can you know the number of people that voted in a police station, in Imo State? If I doesn't give you supply the figures, how are you going to know? How? Just tell me how. They insisted. It's nine people that voted. Now let us look at the actual figures. The number of people, 
from the 388 polling units. I don't want to go into the nitty gritty of it, the stupidity of it, because white people will be laughing at us. I'm, I'm telling you, sometimes people say, oh, but, but why is I racist? I say, I believe in racism. I believe in it. If you don't like it, go back to your country and make it look very beautiful. You're telling me that if I were to be an American U.S. immigration officer, after seeing this stupidity by your Supreme Court, you come and tender your Nigerian passport and say, hey, Nigerian, I will deport you back. Because you're a product of nonsense. You are a product of stupidity. You are a product of iniquitous judgment. I would, I'm telling you, I will deport you back. So you go back to the zoo and enjoy more of this garbage. You have people who say they are learned, we are intelligent, they think tank, uh, 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 civil society. What are you doing? You people are quiet and this travesty is going on. Total registered voters is 254,230 on, on the contentious 388 polling units. Understand this simple arithmetic. INEC. By law, you are supposed to organize uh, voters and give them voters cards and uh, PVC and all that. No, you know, remember the famous PVC? Total registered voters is 254,230. Write it down. It's a simple arithmetic. Plus, minus, divide, uh, multiply. Simple arithmetic. Very simple arithmetic. Simple sum. Nothing that become one can do. Simple plus, minus. Uh, uh, divide and subtract just simple arithmetic you're telling me that seven judges how many were the judges I'm, 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 I remember, uh, they had it. seven or twelve you're telling me that twelve judges they said they went to Cambridge they went to Harvard they went to Yale you don't know simple arithmetic of 254,230 minus 201,000 it's a simple maths they don't know they are judges Supreme Court. He is a son. They, they are the elite. These are the these are the buffo, these are the baboons in your law court making your life a misery. No wonder God gave how should I say Satan gave you Boko Haram and the Fulani Janja weed, all the terror, terror groups in, in Africa to, to show you to to remind you of how stupid you are. Do you think Boko Haram is doing what they do for nothing? It's to remind you of how hopeless you are as a Nigerian. Because you're useless. Because it's not an insult. I'm doing you a favor. Just go back and uh, repent. Go back and repent from your sins. All of you going to court tomorrow. I'm doing this program to, to remind you of what is expected of a human being tomorrow. Not a monkey or a baboon in a zoo. Listen carefully, please. INEC produced certified copies of voter registration cards in all the 388 polling units that is under contention that APC claimed they won. Listen again. Total registered voters is 254,000. That is 254,230, which is, I'll have to break it down because we are now in kindergarten. These are judges, but let me break, let me make them the world understand how useless they are. Now, total registered voters, 254,230. Now, how many people that registered came to collect their PVC? They said 201,883. Now, listen. <laughs> so, the total votes cast, according to, to them, to, to High Court, is 215,000. 491, which makes it 13,199 uh, more votes, or should I say more PVCs, than INEC actually issued. Now, what I want to ask you about is this. Did you issue those PVCs from Abuja? You called people from Imo State, come to Abuja and take PVC. Is that the case? If that is the case, then go and sustain hope at the mine tomorrow. But if you did not usurp the duties of INEC, if you did not issue extra voter cards, PVC, then may shame be upon you and upon all the lies and misjudgments you have presided over 
all your life. May shame be your portion. You should recuse yourself from the bench. All of you, all of you involved in Imo State should retire completely because you're not judges. You're not even monkeys. You are something worse. You have no brain in your skull. So you are telling me that 201 PV uh, cases we are collected, 201,883. And in your calculation, this is figure from my neck. You added extra 13,199. <laughs> Do you know that some, this is now Supreme Court of Night, Supreme Court, not INEC, now allocating votes. Oh, let us give them a bit here. Oh, let's take um, uh, Bayasa from them so that uh, in Imo State it will be okay. After all, we need a foothold. When I told you before that Owere is the, is the center, epicenter of Biafra, you didn't believe me? Go and look at your maps. Go and look at the coordinates. That is why Alamajiri, Fulani Caliphate, they want Owere at all costs. Some of you don't know this, but I do. I know. We know. Some of you cannot reason. They are prepared to sacrifice Biafra to get a foothold. The Nemo through hope Hey, he's from my village. Uh, uh, he's town of hope. He's uh, uh, nobody should. These are the idiots that the devil have sent to destroy our people by planting heart darkness in the center of the kingdom of heaven on this earth. They allocated the Supreme Court of Nigeria allocated votes alloc by themselves gave votes to units. Now, when you look at the votes they allocated to all those polling units, they are more than what the INEC registered as even registered voters. So I'm asking Supreme Court, where did you get your figures from? From who? I'm sure tomorrow they will answer that question. I want to give you an example, very simple example. There's a place called Eziama, Opala, in Omoa village in Eziama. <laughs> The registered voters in Eziama, Okwara is 400. Listen carefully. Number of registered voters is number 69, they call it. The number of registered voters, registered voters in this very polling unit is 492 people. 492 adults registered to vote. Do you know the score of APC in that polling unit? 819. 819 PDP got seven votes. In other words, the votes allocated to APC is more than twice the number of people registered on INEX own register to vote. Do you see the mess Nigeria is in? Do you see why anytime I see somebody saying I'm a Nigerian, I, I just I don't I don't know what to do to them. I'm telling I, I, I don't even converse with them. Once you say you're a Nigerian, I, I simply avoid you. I know you're a, you're, you're a moron, you're a fool. You have no brain in your skull. This is your country, yes? You are locating, you are rigging votes to, for, for APC. That is now more than, more than the number of registered voters according to INEC. INEC, in the so-called Independent National Electoral Commission. Of course, it's headed by a weed. Jaga, what do you expect? What is it that Fulani, uh, what are they running in this is, 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 is working very well? Give me one example. You, you can't give me, can you? Is it NMPC? Tell me one thing a Fulani man is, is, the, is the chairman or president that is working very well. Look at your zoo. Run in the name of a dead Buhari. What is happening to him? At least my parents got a befitting burial. He's in a grave somewhere in Saudi Arabia. Like a pauper. And a wretched soul that he is. This is your country. This is the Nigeria some of you pledge allegiance to every day. This is the Nigeria you say you are proud of. This is your, your this is from your, not from an Alekali, not from a Sharia court, not from a customary court. This is Supreme Court of Nigeria. This is their result. Hmm. Unbelievable. APC is called twice the number of registered voters. So I ask uh, the Supreme, your lordships, where did you get your figures from? Did you give PVCs to people of Eziama? <laughs> Unbelievable. Let's go to another one. It's called number 377. It is a place called Umuzu in Umuchokum. 
in this polling station is at Umuchoke Town Hall. How many registered voters do they have? 367. <laughs> now you can guess how many votes APC scored. APC scored exactly the same number of voters in Umuchoke Hall. And then PDP scored four. So I'm asking their lordship, their eminence and their lordship in the high court, including European Turner. Thank you, Mohammed. Please, where did you get the four votes for, for PDP from? This is Supreme Court of Nigeria. The apex, they call it the, the apex. When you see them, right? You know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, apex court of the apex court of Nigeria. Apex. <laughs> you think they have human beings in it? I want to ask them. The world should ask. The Supreme Court of Nigeria, where did you get the four extra votes for PDP from? From where? It's a simple question. From where? There's a place called Umungwa. It took place at a place called uh, at uh, uh, the community primary school at uh, Umuapara. <laughs> Registered voters, 526. <laughs> Do you know how much APC scored? APC scored five. They clean sweep. Nobody voted for, for PDP in that place. But uh, I wanted to under caveat. In all these places that are saying APC swept, there is no single APC member of house of assembly from it it's only hope who's on them they voted for but forgot to vote for apc candidate to go to the house to support him i don't know if i'm making any sense at all 526 people registered to vote in omongwa apc swept the whole 526 and pdp got to so again i ask a tank replant on the sharia chief justice where did you get the two votes for PDP from? And the list continues. <laughs> and the list continues. Unbelievable. Now I want to shock you. There's a place called Obudi, Aro, the Central School Square in uh, Omosa, too, polling unit 12. The number of registered, regi I said registered, INEC certified voters registered. Their name is on the, is on, is on the INEC register. They have their PVC. Registered voters by the Independent National Electoral Commission, 449. Now listen to this. Do you know how many votes uh, APC got? 780. So APC got twice the amount of registered voters. I want anybody to tell me, even in hell, we are we are Lucifer is the overall is the overseer. Can can Satan def defend this? Lucifer that is the overseer of hell. Do you think that Lucifer himself can defend this type of figures? What well, some of you are working about is I'm, I'm a Nigerian. We are, we are in Nigeria. Uh, the things will get better. Do you see why I call Nigeria a zoo? Do you see why I say that you Nigerians, you are animals? Do you see the reason why? I didn't just wake up one morning to insult anybody. I'm just telling you the truth. Do you see how foolish all of you are, Nigerians? Do you see how the whole world is laughing at all of you, called Nigerians? Do you see why black people have no respect anywhere around the world? Because our stupidity and ignorance precedes us. It goes before us. You are telling me that people who claim they are learned, my learned friend, my learned sister, my learned cousin, you can see their stupidity right in front of you. INEC, which is the pre INEC is the principal witness. How many people did you register to vote in Obudi? Aro. 449. Okay, because of that, we are now allocating APC 780 votes. But my lords, where did you get the extra votes from? Almost double. Um, no, it's just um, this is Nigeria. And as 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 my lord pleases, they uh, bang their rod on the table. And that's it. Do you see why Nigeria is a zoo? Is it tomorrow now you say, oh, I will be having insult people? Do you see why we insult you? Do you see why? Can you actually look at your own stupidity in the face and recognize that all your Nigerian nonsense, I mean, Nigerian, is because of the oil and gas and Biafra land, nothing more, nothing less? Not that you love each other. Nobody, nobody. They are all pretending. Do you love your neighbor as you love yourself? No. 
If they did, there is no way the Fulanese can sponsor five federal groups at the same time. They'll kill you. Take over your land and your property so that their relatives from the Sahel can come and occupy it. They don't. A, a, a serving senator said on the floor of the Senate in Nigeria. I don't know who my constituents are. Anybody can come in from anywhere and uh, go in the Alamajidi sector and register and become a Nigerian. Now, and some of you in the South are busy killing yourself trying to define Nigeria for Alamajidi that does not understand what the hell you're talking about. I neg. It's the Supreme Court of Nigeria. My learned justices. Tomorrow you see them filing out. Like, you know, I don't know. Is it, is it, is it, is it, it's the purple stage of, um, of um, what's it called? Of a weevil. Erudu. You see, they'll they be finding out like um, like Erudu from 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 It's my language, please. It's my language. You know, like, you know, a weevil. You know the the people stage of a weevil was it the lava stage you see that fight with your white wig dragging on the floor you think they have something in their brain but that's nothing see them here inflating figures inflating inflating number of registered voters 591 <laughs> yeah dear me the number of um, voters given to to apc uh, 902 <laughs> is this in our local government the same thing in our west local government area of Imo state the number of votes bvc collected 12,803 how come 18,343 people cast their vote he said that some people were voting two three four times which means it was rigged that is why they need to cancel it I can read on and on and on and on. It's, 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 it's disgraceful. Hey! Oh, how do you go my local government area? PVC collected 17,966 votes cast according to the Supreme Court. 19,728. It's unbelie unbel unbelievable. This is not just fraud. Nigeria is telling you that you are foolish. Nigeria is telling you that you are... The only results are here. Unbelievable. ACD hit MP Seloku government area. PVC collected 506. Votes recorded 520. Have you heard of such rubbish before? And with a straight face, they sat down to say, uh, I neck, uh, where are you? I neck, Jack, are you here? You raised his hand. He, yes, my lord, I'm here. Okay, give the certificates now to Uzodema. And they said, as the court pleases. Because they are practicing what they do not understand. All these uh, morons with their white wig, they, they practice what they don't know. Before the white man, uh, mind you, I'll tell you this again, you know trial by jury that they use in trials abroad in civilized places? They copied also from Biafra. In Biafra land, no, forget about all this is a monarchy of which my father was one. Forget all that nonsense. That's not how we used to do things in those days. So, Rob, this is a new thing. All the things you're seeing, all the things you're seeing were, were brought by the white man through Warren's chief. Kotuma, all those people. No one person can sit in judgment to determine the guilt or innocence of any man. The Igbo people started this first before any other person on this earth. They call it Igbo the jury to go and confirm and come back and give us uh, the verdict i grew up in the village so i know my father was a traditional ruler so i know no one person can when i was when i was growing up no one person sat down to say oh, you come to me uh, you, you uh, tell us what happened you tell us what happened never unless they come to you out of their own volition because you have a very credible standing in, in the community that's all but the proper cases, guilt and innocence, never. You have a jury of independent-minded people. They ask them to go out, confer, bring us a verdict. All these were destroyed because you want to belong to a place called Nigeria. Because for you to belong to Nigeria, you need to jettison and abandon everything. 
that your ancestors taught you. Those are the things we are trying to reverse. That's all. Not that we hate anybody will tell you the truth. Uh, some say that it's not an insult, it's the truth. That's it. It can be said 506 PVC collected. Uh, votes recorded 520. <laughs> that is Nigeria for you. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I want to. This person did a very great job, actually. I want to tell you what I wasn't in, 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 in the zoo court. What am I going there to do? But I'll tell you what the police officer that was the principal witness for who opposed Odama, what he said in court. There is something they call, they subpoenaed him in exhibit NNN1, whatever that means. N and maybe uh, uh, Nigeria, Nigeria 1 to NN8, Nigeria, Nigeria, Nigeria 18. <laughs> maybe that's the name of the, of, the, of the form. This is what the man said. I was asked to produce 388 forms, EC8As, retrieved by the police officers. I have some of the forms. I don't have 388 forms. <laughs> the total number I brought is 368. I cannot lay hands on 20 forms. But uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't be laughing. The whole world is listening. They ask this or not, but this police includes the you know <laughs> after planning with Abakiari and the Supreme Court, uh, Aeroplane Tona, Tanko, Muhammad, how to rig the election. They said they will bring one policeman to the court and they will ask the policeman to please confirm that he has this form they call three, uh, 388, from 388. Uh, 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 is it? No, to produce 388 forms of what they call EC8A. The name of the form is EC8A. Because they had packaged the rigging. Listen, this is happening in court. Oh. They packaged the rigging at the at the at the um, Supreme Court of Nigeria. Now they're using one hopeless policeman, probably on on drugs, on uh, tramadol. He's from the Caliphate. After sniffing glue and tramadol, you know what? They called him to come and tell them exactly what is happening. Listen to what he said. His submission. He said, "I was asked to go and bring 388 forms." But I don't have 388 forms. I only have 368. I cannot uh, get another 20 to complete it. The 388. Now the question is this. Every court, even a child knows that every court in the world, you rely on the evidence in front of you to come to a judgment or to a decision or to a ruling. The policeman they are relying on to rig hopes of the man into power. They asked him to go and forge this EC8A forms 388. He managed to he, he only for the copy 368 and brought it to court. That's not minding. But because APC and Abak Abakiari have already determined with Tanko that they are going to rig 388 police stations, they still went ahead. Despite the damning evidence from this policeman, the policeman said, I only submitted. 368. I cannot lay hands on the other 20. So I want to ask the Supreme, the Apex Court, the High, the Apex, you know, they, they, love, they love that name, Apex. The Apex, I want to ask them. On whose evidence are you completing it or making it up to 388 forms? When the policeman under oath said, I can only find 368. I don't know how to describe this because it's becoming very shameful. Very, very shameful. I did this program tonight for the world to understand that when we say the zoo must fall, it's for a reason. Not that we hate anybody. You can see how useless Nigeria is. Have you seen how? This is the apex court. If they can be doing this, can you imagine what an ordinary Alamajiri Babiala is doing on the road? If, they, if people who claim they are learned they went to Yale, to Harvard, to Boston, to Oxford, to, to Cambridge, to Princeton. If you ask them, they're to Toronto. Most of the certificates, of course, forged. Some of them good judges. How can a policeman, a, a law so-called, uh, let us give him respect, law enforcement officer, say that he only brought 368 forms, but you're basing your judgment on 388 forms. How is that possible? Where did you get the other 20 from? To make up the number. Now you understand how foolish Nigeria is? Very, very daft indeed. That is done for you.
So we are reminding them that tomorrow the whole world is watching. Hope Uzodima cannot be there. If the best they can do is to call, I'm just giving them a way out. I want to advise the Supreme Court of the zoo. I'm, I'm giving you free advice. The best thing to do is to say that the election has been due to so many irregularities or inconsistencies in the results. Because of that, is hope is nullified. Call for fresh elections. That's the best you can do. No, or the least you can do. The best is to reverse the judgment and give it to and give it to to Emeki Hedja. But you will be too ashamed to do that because you know the world is watching. They'll ask you how come you got the decision in the first place anyway. But I'm sure what I'm going to do tomorrow is the usual PDP dictatorial way of doing things. As such, that's an APC dictatorial way of doing things. They will tell you it doesn't matter how our decision stands and what are you going to do? <laughs> nothing. You'll do nothing. You say, oh, we wait till. Uh, let him take it now. We'll wait till 2023. That's what you will say, isn't it? That's what some of you will say. Shame on all of you. They must reverse that very decision. We must move very, very speedily this very evening because we only have about an hour left. It is now eight minutes past 8 p.m. in the blessed land of Biafra. This is a live presentation. This is Radio Biafra. We are live and we are direct. And heaven is bearing us witness. And I must say this very evening for those that doubted us before. As I said, every time everything gravitates down to what IPOB is saying and you'll be shocked do you know how you'll be shocked this evening because they have removed it if you go to Vanguard website now they have removed it this very news and what is that news that Governor Okowa do you know why they removed this very news from Vanguard website because I'm sure powerful you see the statement our press secretary uh, issued a, sorry our spokesperson issued a statement quoting Governor Okowa and because we have now informed the U.S. government and U.S. senators and, 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 and the Congress people, do you know what they have done? Nigeria government have now put pressure on Vanguard newspaper to remove the news. They've removed it. Everybody saw it earlier today. His men attack or call accusing soldiers of aiding terrorists in Nigeria. When I told you that Nigerian soldiers are terrorists, you didn't believe me. Now they have removed the news because we wrote about it this evening. It's no longer there. It is no longer there. When I told on this radio Biafra, I remember very vividly. I'm sure it was some some clever person will come up with the broadcast and when I made it in a very short clip. I'm sure of that. I told you that you see Nigeria. It is to, to remind the U.S. government, the British government that is supporting them and every other person in the EU that you're wasting your time and your money. All that nonsense, let's help Nigeria. They are the, ter the Nigerian soldiers are terrorists themselves. Forget about the recruitment of uh, influx of Boko Haram. No, 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 not at all. That was their plan originally. When El Rufai paid people to go and kill in Kaduna, I knew that the army of Nigeria... It was, didn't you see the helicopter supplying them weapons in the, in the bush? Did you not see it? So, how come people are now surprised? A whole governor, he can no longer endure it. And from today, I have respect for, for Kowa. If I know He said, army, army is the one helping to kill Biafrans. And when we want to go and support and defend no, 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 we, we are Delta. We are from Delta. We are Nigerians. Do you understand it? Do you understand me now? Go and ask if I what he said. Vanguard, out of fear, they have removed it. It's no longer on their side. They have removed it. Because IPOB alluded to what the governor said. The governor of a state that swore allegiance to the caliphate. He's telling them, you have killed my people so much, I can no longer endure it. Your army, when I call them full and in Nigerian army, my Yoruba friends, <coughs> that right, we will delete the No, no, it's not that. Have you seen the proof? You don't know who is a terrorist anymore. You don't know who is a law enforcement officer. When Nigerian army have decided to go and join Fulani terrorists, do you think you have anything left? The zoo is imploding. I told you. I warned you. It is either you support Biafra or you will see this 
this Elohim, this Chukwu Kikabiyama, will call upon all this. You will see what he will do to the. I'm telling. I, I feel sorry for that. I'm telling you the truth. Then you will know that the God we serve is very strong. I'm telling you. Write it down. What is what is the time now? We can't hear for goodness sake. Time now is twelve past eight p.m. in Biafra. Write it down. Twelve minutes past the top of the hour, wherever you are. Write it down on a piece of paper. The time, the date, and say, I told you so. You see God in heaven, the creator of everything that you see around you, the giver of life. I am telling you that God, this, the God that I worship, this same God that can get not, will destroy Nigeria beyond recognition unless Biafra is allowed to go. Write it down. So when it's happening, I will tell you as I always remind you that I told you this. On the 17th day of February, Monday, exactly 30 minutes past 8 p.m. in Biafra Land. Write it down. Everything I tell you is what happened. If they, I have a message from heaven, I tell you it will happen. And I will come back and I will tell you it has happened. I'm not an APC prophet. They give you Expo, Supreme Court Expo. I tell you what will happen before it happens. With clarity and vividness. I don't give you uh, I don't give you prophecies in, in, in generalized language. I am very precise. I point it out. I tell you, this is what is going to happen. I told you that the Fulanis will come. I said they will come. They will kill you. They will rape your mothers. They will have blocked your daughters. They will take your land before, before, before the dead Buhari came into power. I told you in 2014 what they are going to do. Let me even see if I can find that very quotation that the world may bear me witness. That I told you, I want anybody to come out and say, oh, no, the candidate did not say this. I want somebody to come out and tell me that I never said it. I want somebody to come out and tell me that I never said such a thing. I want somebody to come out and say it because our people don't understand. I said this thing 6th of February 2014. 6th of when your so called pastor and preacher was busy running around looking for who will give him money so he will build, he will build auditorium of 4 billion people. On this very radio station, this very platform, I was telling you the truth of what is to come. And I was very clear. On the 6th of February 2014, I said on Radio Biafra, Fulani headsmen will be armed and encouraged to slaughter us with impunity. And their masters will protect them. Their masters, I told you, very concise prophecy. I am not alone beat around the bush. Oh, so two senators will die. I know that's rubbish. I tell you what is going to happen before it happens. There is no other person on this earth with this same vision. I I say it with every author. There is no person on this earth that can see what I can see. Ah, the, the person hasn't been born. That's why Elohim said, I have taken your parents from you because their job is done to clear the way for you to do what you need to do by every means to restore Biafra. I said this thing on the 6th of February 2014, Fulani headsmen will be armed and encouraged to slaughter us with impunity and their masters will protect them. Okowa is saying today that soldiers are the ones escorting the killers through our farms in Delta. Our mothers are being killed. Our crops destroyed. Everything going, everything decimated. And you're telling me that you're from Delta. You're telling me I'm a Nigerian. Check up all You're an animal. You are an animal, I tell you. They say, oh, I should take it easy. The world. Let the world listen to our stupidity. Maybe we can change. If the world can understand how foolish we are, maybe the shame can make us to change. Now that Okowa is saying it, you believe him? Now they have panicked, they have removed the, the link from, from Vanguard. But I told you the truth. I told you the truth. That they will come and they will protect them. Let me go on to what I said. I said, they are coming to ensure that my people, of course, different people, are enslaved forever. Those who do not believe me will soon see it happen. But I told you that it will happen before your eyes. You will see it with your two eyes. But you will be too blind 
to say it. They be blinded by envy, greed, and jealousy. Why must it be numb the camera? Why, why I feel why that? Because it's a divine, it's from heaven. You cannot do anything. Oh, you know, there is nothing you can do about it. Nothing. Nothing you can do about it. I made it very, very clear. Unequivocally clear. They are coming to ensure you enslaved. What is happening today? They are coming to elevate Fulani supremacy. People are saying, today, Oh, Fulanization, I warned you. I said, I, I called it by name. When I get divine revelation, everything is, cl is clear, broad daylight, clear. Everything I tell you comes to pass. I told you that they have come to fulanize you. Before you started shouting fulanization, fulanization agenda, Islamization agenda, Khan is now jumping up. I warned them. But they, they, they didn't listen. They say he's insulting. Why won't I, you're a fool. Why won't I insult you? Why, why shouldn't I insult you? Who are you that won't insult you if you're foolish? So if you're foolish, I'll come and tell you, oh, you're very brilliant. <laughs> Those are for psychophants. We are not psychophants here. This is IPOB. A family ordained by heaven itself to restore Biafra. People, people will beg. I'm telling you, people will pay. They will beg to for the name IPOB to be associated with them so that their children will not laugh at them in time to come and will tell them it's too late. It's very, very late. I told you, they have come to reposition the security agencies by sucking all competent hands and replacing them with their kinsmen to drive ethnic domination of Biafrans and other tribes in the zoo called Nigeria. I warned you, I told you, I spelled it out by name. I, I, I did not mince words. If you find anybody who can match this level of consistency and accuracy in their prophecies and predictions, I will resign my leadership of IPOB. Anywhere in the world, I'm not talking about those, um, those, um, uh, uh, Akana Bandiani Sushi or these Pentecostal rooms you have in the zoo. If there is anybody anywhere in the world, any seer, any prophet anywhere on this planet Earth, the third planet from the sun, that can match our level of consistency and accuracy of prediction, I will resign. Everything I tell you about Nigeria is true. I have no need, no reason to lie. If you don't believe me, wait until they cut off the head of your relative in the farm and then you run back and say, oh, what is happening is not good. Oh, this I will tell you, I told you so. I told you so. Then you will understand. We are chosen to do this very work. We are chosen to do it. Nothing more. Not I said chosen from heaven itself. Chosen to do this very work we are doing now. Don't think we woke up one morning and decided, oh, let's go and uh, let us let uh, let us try and do Biafra. Oh, no, it's by force, and that is why everything I say comes to pass. I said there is nobody on this earth. I don't care if they are prophets, the seer, the soothsayer, uh, people involved in divination. Nobody can match our level of accuracy. No human being on this earth. I said nobody can match it. Do you know? When I said that Biafra will come, I gave an interview in Los Angeles, in Beverly Hills, to Town Hall News, if some of you can remember. And I said that under Obama, under a democratic president in America, Biafra can never come. He will come under a Republican. Just watch and see what is going to happen. As they say in our place, in Google, and today we are telling our people don't defend we are going to defend ourselves understand the trick our enemies are playing understand it they said here the the proscribed ipob has called on residents of southeast to prepare no if you're reading this it is false we are calling on all the eastern region isn't it very funny some of you don't reason but i will help you to reason isn't it very funny when it comes to the north, they say it's north, north, north. Even Biafra land in, in Benue and in Kogi, they say it's all north, north, north. But when it comes to us, they they use, I'm very sorry to say, uh, some Yorubas have repented, but their journalists, uh, they are yet to repent. Somebody should translate it for them in English so they understand it. 
No matter how you cure a madman, you see him murmuring, you can never cure it. No matter how well the Yorubadis have repented, there are some elements within their media that, that you know, that lunacy, that murmuring is still in their brain. You never go away. That's why somebody wrote, the proscribed IPOB has called on resident. Who told you that? Did you not attend? Did you not see what happened at my, my parents' funeral? People came from, I said Bakasi. People came from Bakasi. The area that Obasanjo gave away to, to, to Cameroon. That is today the home of Ambazonia, our cousins. They came from all the way from there. Did you see a banker at, in my place? So how can you be saying in Southeast? Why do these people specialize in peddling falsehood all the time? IPOB is fighting for the whole of Biafra land, not Southeast. Who told you? Did you see a Gala chiefs and a banker chiefs in my place? What is all this? Those, what, what is this obsession? And I want to warn our people, especially those those uh, fulefus that have spent their lives serving the Fulani Caliphate. I want to warn you very carefully. We cannot protect ourselves. We must all protect our region. If you go it alone, you will fail. If your job goes it alone, it will fail. Right as I'm speaking, be writing it down one after the other. Anybody who tries to divide the East, we would fail. They will conquer our land. United, we can stop them. Together, we can stop them. This nonsense of Southeast Security Group, Southeast Security Group, that rubbish needs to come to an end. Because BSS will do the needful. All these division is what they want you to do. They formed their Shege Dambanza in the north. The whole of the north. The whole of the west is only you people. Oh, we are in southeast. We are in south south. It's an evil affair. It's a job. It's a it's, it's a gunny. You are foolish. Very you never learn anything since 1967. They divide you and they kill you. They divide you. You have never learned anything. They kill Sariwa, you never learnt anything. They kill Adakaboro, you never learnt anything. They kill Chubokadibo, you never learnt. You don't learn. Few people do not learn. You do not learn. You do not learn anything. Divided you fall. Divided you fall. If you allow the enemies to dictate who your brother is, you are finished. If you allow them to define who your sisters are, you are gone forever. Stop all this nonsense. Ali this, all this South is, is rubbish. You cannot defend yourself. If they take South South, you are gone. Simple logic, simple common sense. Simple common sense. They are twisting what we said. So you're telling me, is somebody seriously telling me that I'm Nioma? Is somebody telling me that I'm Nioma? Thank you very much. Somebody have visited from the punch newspaper. Of course, it's still there. In the punch one. Vanguard have run and deleted there. Vanguard that I, that I used to have respect for. Why are they doing this? I don't, I don't understand. It's the truth. Uh, full of soldiers. Can, let, let me ask you this way. Can you imagine Jonathan in power? With all the commanding officers in HDK, all the officers, you know, from Biafra land. And four terror groups will emerge from Biafra land from the east and go to the north and be killing people. And you have this. Do you know, by now, Britain will, bo Oy, China came Britain will bomb the whole of Biafra. Britain will have bombed everybody to smithereens. But look at them. And you're, uh, tomorrow morning, you say, I I'm a Nigerian. I'm sure some of you will. Out of stupidity and hopelessness, some of you will tomorrow. I am a Nigerian, no, we Nigerians. But your so called Nigerian army, they are not fighting Boko Haram in the north, they are in my compound, laying siege in my compound. I've heard some who have come out, we, we command Nigerian army, commanded them for what? Is their job not to go and fight terrorists in the north? You command them. Can, can you see how we reason? We are fighting for everybody. For everybody, for everybody. <laughs> At last, our people are rising up. You know, all the commissioner of police is good for is IPOB is giving us problem. Is it is IPOB? Remember this same commissioner of police in Delta State <laughs> fighting IPOB for no reason. When we go out, he will try. And what is his name? 
His name is, is Hafiz Inua. Hafiz. All the way from, 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 from Sokoto. They bring him to Delta. Why won't he support his brothers that want to take our land and hand over to, Fula, to wandering Fulani headsmen all over West Africa? Why not? Do you now see why they have Fulani police commissioners everywhere? If the exception is the likes of Okum, who is a boy boy. All he wants is promotion. I want to be AIG. All he wants is to be promoted. He will do anything. Like he won with them. Look at him when he advising us on security. Can you believe that? Can you can anybody in their right mind believe that? All the fully fools that are now gathering. We need that security. When IPOB was saying it, what did you do? You joined the enemies to try and destroy the work of God. And God said to you to IPOB, wait, 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 wait. Let me teach them a lesson. So they come and look for you. Today they're looking for us, but they cannot find us. Let them go from now. Let us see. It's a challenge. It, I want to let them know how disciplined IPOB is. I I challenge any governor to float anything. I see if you got up to 100 people there. It's an order. Don't join them. Because we want them. We have died because of what, what they have now seen. And when we are dying, they were laughing at us. Oh, they are wasting their lives. Uh, they are coming out on the streets and they are wasting their lives. Aha, uh -huh. now you have seen why they wasted their lives. Uh, your life's not now being wasted by Fulani jihadists, by Fulani terrorists in our bushes. Are your lives not being wasted? You know, people were laughing at Biafrans during the war. Oh, can't you see? I remember Z when he was stabbing Ojuku in the back. I, I, don't, I don't want to see pictures of children who are who are emaciated, children who are starving. And he's supposed to be an elder there, whatever, uh, whatever rubbish they used to call him. Azikiwe. I won't call him Namdi because he doesn't behave like somebody who bears the name Namdi. Namdi is a very glorious name. My Redeemer live it. You don't even think of the name Namdi. Go and, go and uh, look for it. My Redeemer live it. He didn't behave like one. He was busy. Exactly that disease we have in our brain. Instead of him to mellow down and say, let us see the support you can give to Ojugu for the survival of our race. He said, no. Picture of little today what is happening in the North. Remember the word refugee was associated with Biafra? Today you have refugees in quantum in the north. Hunger is in the north. Poverty is in the north. Because as I warned the Fulanese, they didn't hear a few weeks ago. Oh, let me warn you again. I want to warn Abakiari. Abakiari, God has hardened your because you are the president of Nigeria. Buhari is dead. He uh, buried in Saudi Arabia. We all know that. Only an idiot who, who pretends otherwise. Let me tell you something. God will harden your heart because of where you are, the little money you're getting, the, your hotels in Dubai, and all your private investments in England. You think maybe nothing can happen to you. Let me assure you that the more all of you gang up against Biafra, the more Fulani lands in the north. I feel sorry for my Hausa brethren because they will suffer it. If Hausas have any brain in their skull, they should distance themselves from the Fulanis. As hard as it may be, because I can actually let write it. What is what is the time? The time now is uh, is um 29 to is now is 29 to 9 in the evening in Bethlehem. Write it down. I am telling you today that God will destroy Nigeria. If houses do not remove themselves from the Fulanis, they will also be destroyed. Write it down on a piece of paper. When it happens, I will come back here and tell you, I told you, the only solution, the only remedy is to let Biafra go. As long as you hold on to Biafra, what Pharaoh suffered will be, will fade into insignificance compared to what shall befall all of them. Anybody siding the Fulanese will be consumed. And then you know that I don't do what I do out of any strength of mind. Is by the grace of Elohim. They are in uh, in, in Delta, <laughs> killing people. The President General Uweru Community Association in Uweru North, Cassidy Akwedafe, has faulted the State Commission of Police, Hafiz in Nuwa's claim that no one was killed in the attacks by headsman. Can you see that? That is why they are there. And anytime I travel to the U.S., Oh, I tell the senators in the U.S., can you see they're killing us? They'll say, oh, no, but the commissioner of police, he's a, he's a law enforcement officer. He said no one was killed. 
Do you now see the reason why they give you full and commissioner of police? So when their people, their own army, full and army, escorted into our farms, they rape, they kill, and they run to the police. police. Oh, nobody was killed. And that's the end of it. And tomorrow you, you tell me, uh, we are near my, we are not here, but we are in the middle, uh, 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 middle belt. We are in the middle belt or in the end of the belt. I don't know what they call it. I don't know who gave birth to those people. I don't know who I, I just don't know anywhere is the is the is the, the relics of the war, I would say. All those nonsense that their mother carried them in the stomach. Uh, carrying full of new babies, you, they give birth to them, they name them, okay, chuku, ike, chuku, uh, just name them from from Anyoma. They just you don't know, you don't know you are looking at a danger with Alamaji, but with an with an You don't you don't know that some of them with a John name. You don't know you are looking at you are looking at a gen, you are looking at a, an incarnation of of uh, what's his name, Albanawi. But his only name is his 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 Spiff or Dabiri. He's asking Dabiri, but you don't know that the blood, the bone, is that of El Banawi. You don't know. You see them writing nonsense. You think they're normal? These are full of people that the the soldiers that came down during the war pregnanted their their mothers and their sisters, and they gave birth to rubbish all over the place. That's how you know them. That is how you know them. Mad, mad people everywhere. They have sent out. Now, if you're saying now to the world, they are killing us in Delta, they will say, but the police commissioner said nobody was killed. And BBC will quote him. BBC will say, uh, the, these are lies. IPOB is lying. Nobody was killed. But um, our dear brother Cassidy Akwadafe is saying that people were killed in his village. And that is how the zoo goes. And nobody will remember. Nobody will ask any questions. And that is the end of it. Very, very sad indeed. The, the, I, I mentioned this the last time. And please allow me to do so again. Our own security is coming for the entire East. For the entire Biafra land. Not Southeast. Not South, as all of us together. One, to defend the frontier. The best line of defense will be mounted in Kogi and in Benue. That is our line of defense. Not in Nembe. You cannot be in Nembe saying, oh, oh, oh we are fighting Hesmen in, in Nembe. We are fighting Hesmen in Okreka. It's too late. They have already breached our defenses. It's common sense. You don't need to go to military school to know that. Together as one people, we mount a line of defense in Kogi. And in Benue, they will not come in. Very simple. But if you keep doing your nonsense, uh, 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 we want to float in an Igbo group. It's called a Winnie. We want to float in a job group. It's called heaven knows what. All this rubbish. You are wasting your time. You are wasting your time. That was the nonsense we tried. They killed Sir. We were nothing happened. Before him, they killed Adakaporo. Nothing happened because you were being very parochial in my village. Let me do my own thing. And I've said this well. Let me say it again. Had every heavyweight in the East come out to say, "Don't touch Kensero," we nobody would have touched him. It's like that. It's just as simple as that. All this nonsense. Uh, we are doing our own. Let's do our own. You are not going anywhere. The enemies will come, and they will decimate you. And nothing will happen. Forget the world. Nothing will happen. The world continues to revolve around the sun, and nothing will happen. And that will be the end of it. So together as one, as one indomitable family, we are moving ahead. And you know, the, as I said before, you know our God is miraculous. As they are busy killing us, <laughs> our, uh, their nemesis is busy massacring them in the north. In Katsina, 30 people dead. I'm not happy about it. Don't get me wrong. I, I'm not happy. Heaven forbid, no. I don't like people losing their lives. So it's, of no, it's of no meaning. But in Katsina, 30 people killed, houses destroyed by terrorists. Because the army is busy conquering territories for al and for headsmen in the south. They are in Isama Faruku running around with uh, armored personnel carriers instead of going to confront what is confronting them in the north. They are in the south fooling themselves and not us. 
30 people dead in the same Nigeria that you occupy. In the same Nigeria you claim is one country. In the same Nigeria you are claiming you will die for. In fact, it's actually the 33 were killed. In fact, not even 30. 33 killed in Katsina. Very, very sad indeed. Every blessed day, the news is getting worse. And some people will come out to say, oh, we want to defend the uh, uh, Buhari's regime, or more or less like uh, Abakiyari's regime. And as, they, as the people are killing 30 people, 100 people, 35 people, kidnapping all over the... Some of you have heard what um, uh, Shekau said about Buhari. How they went and conjured up, uh, uh, rustled up some girls from somewhere and said they are Chibok girls. When Shekau is holding the real Chibok girls. And some of you are clapping and having uh, symposium and having dinner uh, on Chibok girls. There is progress. I don't, I don't know how... How people won't understand this, you know, seriously speaking. I'm I'm really disappointed. Very, very disappointed with some people. Honestly. Very, very dis highly disappointed. Look at them. They released the same people killing. The same people today that killed our people in Delta. Should by chance they arrest them. They, if I if you want to join the army now as a as a Fulani uh, uh, Muslim or Janjaweed Alamajiri on the street. If you want to join the army, you no longer take exams or go to NDA or go to any military training. No, all you need to do is to get the nearest AK-47, go into the bush and start killing people. Declare yourself a Boko Haram. They take you, put you in a very good school, feed you, change your clothes, and now you go into the army. Yourself <laughs> and your brothers, you are struggling. I want to pass NDA. Whereas there's a very simple route into NDA, become a terrorist and you join the Nigerian army. Isn't that very easy? The only place in the world where the army is fighting terrorists, they capture them, they, they are now their colleagues the next day. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that the life of animals in a zoo? Tell me why Nigeria is not a zoo. Can anybody just explain it to me? They don't understand today. Why we are releasing Boko Haram terrorists? Defense headquarters of Nigeria. They are releasing them. They are joining the army. They say that they have a softly, softly approach. But to bury my father is a problem. And my mom. It's a big problem. It's a national security. Go and kill. Go and destroy. But those who are actually killing people, destroying lives and properties, <laughs> they are being released. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> that is the one Nigeria that Britain gave to all of you. And you're jumping on up and down. I am a Nigerian. Do you see why I call you an animal in a cage in a zoo called Nigeria? It is everywhere. I'm very glad that um, even who is this from oh, Punch On is still up and running. The, the soldiers, you know them now. Some uh, Yoruba journalists, you learn how to write the truth. When it concerns you about the death of uh, uh, Professor Ranti, they wrote, when it came to Amotu Kunde, they were right. I don't, I, don't, I don't like it. That is one thing I don't like about some Yoruba journalists. They must repent. What is allegedly added? When people were supporting you during the death of, of, of the Afani Fere elder, can't you, can't you people for once reciprocate what is nice? Why are Yoruba Why are some of them, why are some just plain horrible people? Can't it just be, be, be civil for once? What is allegedly added? Alleg, 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 people are dying and saying allegedly. Do you think Okawa will come out and say something that is not real or something that is incorrect? When he owes his, um, his position to, to the caliphate? Sometimes I don't know if it is uh, his Boko Haram and the terrorists we are suffering or some sections of Yoruba media. You people are evil. You, just, you must repent. This I, I don't, is, is it in your nature? Is, is, do you have it in your nature? Must you be horrible? When something affects the Yoruba, everybody will rise up and, and, and come to their defense. When it affects other people, they, they keep writing allegedly. Alleged, alleged. What nonsense is that? Some of these Yoruba journalists, they must repent, honestly speaking. Your people have moved on, you must move on with them. Yoruba have repented. All, their journalists must also repent. You people are the one aiding the iniquity in the zoo. By your careless writing, your stupid writing, writing rubbish all the time, allegedly. People are dead, you're saying allegedly. You have seen the, 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 the corpses everywhere, you're saying allegedly. What sort of hor horrible human beings are this? Huh? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Gosh. 
somebody wrote very clearly as I as I said before, everything. No, most well, I wouldn't say most. Fadji died because of Fadji. You don't see Yorubas are good people, especially those from Ikiti State. They are, they are good people, but there are some people. I think they are from Kwara. I think I would advise all the proprietors in Yoruba: don't employ any journalist that is Yoruba Muslim from Kwara State. They, you know, their blood have mixed with Alamatri. Anytime you say Yoruba, allegedly, alleged, you see the truth and you're writing alleged. You know, it's from Kwara State. Yoruba Muslim. Akintola, Akintola Brigade. You can never, ever reform those people. Never, ever, ever. And when I used to say things about our uh, the governors the in the southeast and by extension all of them, people said I insult the governors. You work with them, don't work with them. But somebody has written a very compelling piece. Um, it's very sad indeed. Very very sad. Now, despite all their intellectualism, their sociocultural groups, their so-called technocrats, and all the nonsense they have. They can't come together to say to themselves at least um ipob was right ipob is correct what we did was wrong we apologize which is the only manly thing to do when i do something wrong i apologize they can't apologize to say we have wronged ipob you people have been right all along for that reason we apologize no they can't do it <laughs> from security group huh? for we get together and agree on something of course not because their phones are open as they are as they are deliberating their guy in sokoto is listening these are the people you call leaders supported by all these people and that i don't know who who pregnanted their mothers all of them very sad indeed but we pray for them and we hope they change we pray for them we pray for them we pray for them this is Radio BFM. We're live and we're very direct. Our program is coming to an end very, very shortly. But there are people who are detained in Anambra. I am asking the governor of Anambra State, Willie Obiano, to ensure that our community leaders are arrested as a result of the death of terrorists that they are released. Our elders were arrested in Anambra. Community elders they are very very important the name is um the the he is the deputy president general of ifite or guare community in ayamelum the government area of an his name is jifwara ike ikala or uh, ikala is uh, the name is not very specific Zik ikala i think it is and the town chief security officer mr michael akamala they have been detained though in anambra state oh. it, 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 isn't it very strange in december anambra where our mothers are being killed, raped, people beheaded all the time. There is no Fulani terrorist in detention. But if you go to detention, our people trying to defend our villages, they are the ones that Obiano gave order to arrest. Can you understand? Can any of you understand this? I don't know how. How we, we I don't know how we come upon these people. I have no idea. I have no idea. They're in detention. And I, I'm calling for their release. They must be released. They've done nothing wrong. They come to the village. They just arrest anybody they see. Do you see why our place needs tidying up? Sanitization. To clean it. Because traitors are, are plentiful in our midst. I told people that uh, Buhari is dead. They, they said no. <laughs> I told you. Buhari is dead. I told you that the president of Nigeria is one Abakiari. You did not believe me. But I want to give you, you know, we are coming up to him. We are coming to Joy. You think I let Jibril go? Of course, of course not now. It's not possible. We are com we are compelling our evidence. Brand new, fresh evidence. So that um some Yoruba journalists will say, uh, it's a, we have checked it. It is a fa fact check. <laughs> I want to prove to the whole world that uh, Buhari is gone, buried like a pauper in a grave somewhere in Saudi Arabia. I want to prove it to all of you tonight. I will never get tired of preaching this because you know why? It is the truth. 
and we'll never get tired of preaching it. It's important. I will tell you this every blessed day, so that the day the world will reveal it, I will tell you, I told you so. And that is why I call you animals in a zoo. Why am I saying what I'm saying? It's from this. Uh, I think news is even better when you read it from Europe, so they will believe it. The Nigeria Security Agency, NSA, some of you know them, have now told service chiefs. Savage, which means Buratai and all the rest of them. Uh, I'm, a, I'm, a, uh, I'm a chief of staff, uh, air defense staff, uh, naval staff, and uh, whoever, the defense minister, whoever he is. They have been told, do not take order from Abakiari. Why would a whole national security advisor tell Service chiefs do not take order from an ordinary chief of staff to the president. What does that tell you? What does that? Of course, I know that for us, reasoning comes at a premium. It's very difficult for us to reason, considering where we come from in Africa. But I'm asking you this evening. Why would a whole national security advisor go on record to say to service chiefs like Buratai, stop taking orders from Abakiari? Because Abakiari is the president. Does that not make any sense? Let me read it for you so you understand. It's in the national news, so you can Google anything that I'm saying and see if it is true or false. The National Security Advisor, Baba Ghana Monguno, has directed service chiefs to desist from taking orders from Buhari's Chief of Staff, Abakiari. Is that not clear? How can you have a Commander-in-Chief in power, a viable one for that matter, and uh, uh, the the chief of staff will be giving orders. Can you imagine, like, as Trump is chief of staff of Trump giving orders to the to Air Force, to Navy, and to the Army? Is that possible? What does that tell you? What does that tell you, Nigerians? What does that tell you in your empty brain, empty Nigerian brain, full of idiocy, suffering, and, and smiling? You have nothing in your brain. What does this tell you? Some of you complain too much. I insult you. Why won't I insult you? You're a fool. Why won't I insult you? <laughs> you're, 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 you're an animal. Why won't I insult you? The president's so-called chief of staff is giving orders to the army, to the navy, to the police, to everybody. And you can't ask questions. What type of president do you have that the chief of staff is running the country? But you won't ask. You're Nigerians. Bubu Hari went to Brown. He's traveling to London for sleep. He's going to this place for help. He's going to that place for You're not ashamed of yourself. All of you. Listen, he's going to London. We, <laughs> we need to give him a slight IPOB reception in London. Then he will know mm-hmm. that we have not forgotten that he is Jubil al Sudani. That is not from me. It's from a Yoruba paper. He should stop giving orders. Who is who gives orders? He's not the chief of he's not the commander in chief. Abak here is messing around with all of you, so-called 200 million people, playing with your brain, and all of you are too blind. You see Buhari today, he's dark. Tomorrow he is a 45-year-old, and you are still there. Uh, Buhari went to, you can't ask questions. Who is this young boy? I'm seeing this is not Buhari. Ordinary comparison, compare and contrast, they cannot do. Because they paid newspapers to cover up their nonsense. Oh, nobody wants to say. It's just it, what is happening to Nigeria is what is happening to to Southeast governors now. Nobody wants to say that IPOB has been rattled along. Nobody wants to say that. Oh, we are very sorry. You know, we misunderstood what Nam Dekano was saying. He's been rattled along. They can't say it. That's out of shame. Out of shame. The same thing with Nigeria. Out of shame. They cannot come round to the fact that Buhari is not this. Uh, this Jubil is not. They cannot. Okay? They cannot. Hey, so the world will say that Nam the can has been right all along. Hey, we can't do it, oh. Instead, let us die here. And that's why they're all dying. Out of shame. They're all dying. Chief of Staff is giving order to the army and to the navy. And it's normal in this modern world. And you're telling me you're a human being? Of course. Of course you're not. Of course you're not. Of course you're not. That brings us to the end of our program this very evening. I thank all of you for listening, but I have very, very important announcement to make. And before I do so, I must thank everybody once again who contributed in no little measure to ensure the success of the burial of my parents. I thank especially those that went to Afaruku, those that went to Omoaya. Oh my goodness. After everything, 
you'll be killed. You'll be shot dead. They, have, they can't walk straight away. The brave people attended. And they made it something memorable that the world will never forget. I'm sure it is only our head of state, Ujuku, that received such a burial. As they said, they have never seen anything like that before. Never. They united the whole family. Ah, from across the spectrum. From Bakasi to Ebanke, they came. This IPOB is indeed one family. This is a very special announcement in preparation for the defense of Biafra land, which I will announce very, very shortly. I repeat, in preparation for the defense of Biafra land, which IPOB, we, I will announce it um, in, the, in, the, uh, in the coming weeks. I want people to understand this. There are some people who may not understand. If they are not listening, please inform them. In Biafra land security hierarchy, the volunteer command is preeminent. I repeat, our volunteer command is number one. It is the, I don't use the word apex. It is the number one in the hierarchy of of um of groups or should i say the defense information that we have in ipob before let me repeat very carefully before you are selected to join the other branches we have which is bss and our intelligence guard which is the m branch before you can join bss or the m branch you must first of all be a volunteer under the command of the volunteer you must be a, from volunteer you now go to we then decide those who are credible enough to go to bss and those who go to m branch very very important you understand this i've heard of people they run off to one side and they say oh we are bss that is rubbish pure rubbish you must all belong to volunteer from volunteer we now pick out those who will go to bss and those that will go to m branch depending on your performance i hope this clears up everything all these people running around saying that bss is this rubbish everybody comes under one central command the volunteer command from there you go to bss from there you go to the m branch it's as simple as that i want to make this abundantly clear you must first of all be a volunteer before you become BSS or you become a member of the M branch which I credit with so much high value intelligence coming our way which is why we have always defeated the zoo at every turn that we encounter them I thank you all very much for listening this very glorious family this indefatigable family this very family that is rewriting history on a daily basis this very ipob i salute all of you and i salute your courage i salute your devotion i salute your dedication i salute your patriotism here on radio biafra is where we worship because chukwo kika biama binigwelo himadona el shada is our god we worship no other person, no other entity apart from one God, indivisible in heaven. That is why IPOB will succeed where others have failed. Because he said, I'm a jealous God, I do not share my glory. That's what he said. I don't share it with anyone. And his words are yea and amen. Never changes from eternity to eternity. We worship only one God. Elohim. And Biafra is our religion, never forget that. From me, from here, it is good evening. Mm -hmm.